What is happening and welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode. And friends, well, as the title says, we're going to be talking about tires today. We're going to be comparing the uh, the Nitto Trail Grapplers that I've had on my uh, Jeep Gladiator for the last two years to the Milestar Patagonia 2s. Now, many of you know, I've been, well, I've been running Nittos for, boy, 17 years on all my trucks and cars with a, a tremendous amount of success. I love the, the Nitto uh, brand. They really build a great tire. But today, uh, we're going to be addressing a question. We get a, you know, we get a lot of comparison questions from various different brands uh, to how the Nittos, people assume because I own this company, that I must have this working knowledge of all these different products and tires, in this case, tires, which would be quite fantastic. I don't know what I would do with that information. Probably answer a lot of your questions a little bit more uh, in depth <laughs> than from a very surface level. But one of the questions that comes up, and there's quite a bit of buzz online with regards to the Milestar, Milestar Patagonia 2s. Now, prior to this, I don't know a squat about these tires, but a lot of you keep asking about these things because they are a budget-friendly uh, uh, mud tire. And so I decided, okay, let's give this a go. Now, I've been running the Nittos on my truck as well as my Turtleback. So I decided to move over to the Milestar Patagonia uh, 2s. And in this video here, I'm gonna share with you things that I like, you know, first observation about these tires, I'm gonna give you kind of sprinkle a little bit about what it's been like with the, the Nitto trail grapplers on the, uh, on the truck. I'm gonna give some sound bite comparisons. Now, as I will say probably at least two or three times in this video here, the Nitto trail grapplers have about 23,000 miles when I pulled them off my truck. So it's from a sound comparison, while they weren't quiet when I got them, you know, when I first put them on, they certainly weren't as loud as they are right now. So this is not really a fair comparison, but I figured, okay, I would put the, the sound bites in from Bose there, both in there, uh, because the with the Patagonia 2s, they are quite quiet. So anyways, look friends, we put these videos together because, well, you guys keep asking about them and well, asking, well, we shall deliver as we can. Uh, this is one of the, the easier ones, so we just swapped the tires on there. Now, this is going to be a first impression video. The, the goal with this here is perhaps in three to six months, I'm gonna circle back around. We'll do another kind of a subsequent video to this one and start sharing with you, well, how have these tires how have they performed off-road? Uh, at that time, I probably have a few thousand miles on these things. So, of course, we're going to be able to talk a little bit more in depth as far as how have they lived up to expectations. Now, if you follow these tires, well, this review can go one of two ways. Two ways. Either these tires are going to be absolutely awesome or, hell, they're going to give us a, uh, well, it goes the other direction. But let's be optimistic about this. And so where I was leading with this is, look, we put these videos together to help you make educated decisions in terms of, you know, in this case, tires, and whether these are a good tire for you to be able to pick up. Now, of course, if you find some value with this video or, hell, you just want to do us a solid Fred, I sure would appreciate you crushing the hell out of that like button because, well, it helps with the whole YouTube algorithm and man, we appreciate it as well. That side, my friends, pull up a seat in. Let's go. All right, let's get the show going and talk about some of the specs and features of these Patagonia 2 tires. We have cross-directional sipping, which is gonna give these tires excellent uh, tread block strength. Now, this is also going to improve uh, the tire resilience and offers a much more stable footprint, especially in rain and snow and mud for that matter. Now, the one thing that I am concerned about here is the sipping that I just spoke about there it only goes down in maybe about an eighth of an inch. Now, whereas other tires that I've used in the past, you'll see the sipping will go down much further into the, the, the tread itself. This, it's it doesn't go in that far. So one of the things I'm going to be observing, and this is where we'll have a follow-up uh, you know, review 
perhaps six months down the road and so forth. And depending upon how many miles I've been able to put onto these tires at that point and where the tread wear is, if it's gone past where the sipping is right here, obviously we start losing the benefits of that being there to begin with. Um, so that's going to be a, a stay tuned. But it's one of the things I did want to point out that the sipping, while it is there, it's fantastic. While the tires are new, it only goes down about an eighth inch. Now on the side, you have a three-ply sidewall. Now this is called mild tech. Now these sidewalls are going to give the tire a much better, much more rigidity and long-term durability. Now mild tech also offers excellent pliability and flexibility, which is important for airing down the tires. Now the silicon-based compound on the tread gives the tires a much better cut and chip resistance. Now this is also going to be important, which in terms of tread life as well. And speaking of which, you know, when we look at this here, this really has an aggressive design with huge voids as you look between this here, between the treads, which is going to really give these tires an enhanced ability to get rid of mud. Now, if we look a little closer right into these, the valleys between the treads here, you can see there's integrated stone injectors, and this is going to ensure that stones are ejected from the tread, and which, of course, alternatively, instead of getting stuck and drilling into the tire. Now, when you first look at this tire, you start noticing, okay, this is definitely not your typical uh, MT tired, but more of a hybrid kind of tread design. And that center rib right here, that you know, really gives it that hybrid approach there. If you look at a lot of the spacing on the outside of this compared to the inside here, so the center rib is really is going to improve the on-road performance and the comfort. Now I can talk from experience with this here. Uh, I have now about 250 miles on my Gladiator since installing these on there. And the design of these tires I can tell you the moment I picked this thing up, uh, it was realized just how well that worked. Now, I will say I do have concerns because this is, you know, you're, you're driving on the center with the tires properly aired like they're supposed to, you're driving on the center tread part here. Now, my concern here, which again, uh, when we do that follow-up review, perhaps in the next four to six months, I'm gonna report on this. One of my concerns that I have right now is these tires right out of the gate are kicking ass. But what happens when that center ridge uh, starts wearing down and you start getting more of the outer lugs on here? Now that's where, when you think about, and we'll talk about noise here in a moment, but that's where road noise comes from with a lot of MTs is the distance between these and the big beefy you know, tread design that they have on there. Center is worn down. Well, now you're gonna start getting into that upper bridge of these right here. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see what happens from a noise level. But I will say this, when I pick this vehicle up, uh, which again, in a moment, I'm gonna be doing some sound bites between when I have the nittos on and after with these, but I will tell you this, when I take my foot off the gas so I don't hear the gas motor, these things at 40 miles an hour is nearly as quiet as I think they're, I have a Tesla that's my daily driver and I have Continental tires on, on that thing. This thing is pretty, it's almost on par with, with my Tesla there. That is saying a lot for a MT, but Anyways, they did a good job on this. Now, closing things off, uh, this tire is available in 32 different sizes, uh, up to 22 inches, uh, or I'm sorry, up to 42 inches in diameter and up to a wheel size of 22 inches. So uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few options available for this thing. All right, now we're gonna shift gears and we're gonna talk about noise. Now, this is not gonna be comparing apples to apples because I don't have sound bites from when I originally uh, picked up the Nittos. Kind of uh, wishing that I did here for a comparison's sake. Uh, so getting that out of the way, uh, but I am going to still share with you sound bites uh, from the day I went down to the tire shop and uh, had these removed and the Milestar Patagonia uh, MTs two installed on there. Now, again, these tires, the Nitto uh, Trail Grapplers, which, you know, let's get this out of the way. Many of you know I've been utilizing and recommending Nitto for a very long time. I absolutely love the tires. They do a great job. Um, that said, these mile stars, granted, they're about a third less on the price tag. These things are ridiculously quiet, as I just kind of mentioned a moment ago. But these are brand new. These have about 23,000 miles. Um, you're going to find in the vehicle the other day, uh, heading up to camping on Friday night, I actually had a decimal meter inside the vehicle and 
I was getting roughly right around 57 to 62 decimals with the Patagonia uh, MT2s in there, which is pretty awesome. And as you'll find out here in a moment, I have a couple uh, sound bites from doing 40 miles an hour with the Nato Trail Grapplers versus 40 miles an hour with the uh, uh, Patagonias on there. And then also highway speed at 70, 75 with the Nato Trail Grapplers and doing uh, the same 70 miles an hour or so with the Patagonia MTs. And you know, I'll let the, the video speak for itself here, but you're, again, we're talking about a tire that's that has 23,000 miles on it. But I will say, even when these were new, these were not anywhere near as quiet as these. Um, but you're hearing these at full life, or I'd say there's probably 40%, I probably chewed up about 60% of the tread on these. Uh, these are brand new. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, one of my concerns uh, as this tire wears in that center pad here kind of cuts down a little bit or wears down and we start getting into more of these lugs here what that is going to do to the uh to the sound that these tires uh create there but anyways let's get on to the sound clips all right now we're going to be getting on the freeway we're going to get going at highway speed i'm going to shut up so you can hear the road noise again these are netto trail grapplers in two miles use the right lane to take exit 92 for big parkway Again, these are Nitto Trail Grapplers with about 23,000 miles on them. 75 miles an hour right now. All right, so the Monster Patagonia MT-02s are now on the vehicle. First impression, I'm gonna say these things are stinking quiet. All right, I am uh, getting back on the freeway now, and we're gonna match at 70, which is what we did earlier. there I don't hear the tires at all in a moment we'll, uh, we'll slow down to 40 and that's really where that 40 50 mile an hour is where I heard the most noise 40 right now but they look pretty good as well that was one of my that was one of the areas that I wasn't sure what I would, how I would feel. I think the Nitto Trail Grapplers are one of the best looking tires on the market, hands down. But honestly, these uh, these Milestar, these Patagonia 2s, they look pretty stinking good. And another thing, I th thought the truck was gonna look goofy because as I, you might have heard me talk about this in some of my previous videos, one of the reasons I put off going to a 37 myself is I was waiting for um, my icon, I have an icon stage seven uh, kit that needs to be put on. It's actually in my garage sitting under my, my turtle back right now. And so I've not put it on, but the tires came in. So I decided I was pretty sure I can get away with putting 37s on here and not run into any major problems. And yeah, it definitely, they fit on there. Um, I turned the wheel both left and right. I didn't have any rubbing. I'm sure if I went off uh, trail and into some pretty uh, bumpy area or I'm sorry where the trucks flexing a bit I'm sure pretty sure it would hit um, but right now it just looks like a bigger tire in there and it actually looks pretty good it'll look better once obviously the two and a half inch lift gets uh, put on and um, yeah but anyways first impressions big home run now the the poor the thing that everybody's going to want to know and that's one of the things that i decided okay we'll give it a go with these patagonia these tires have just a mixed amount of reviews out there some people talk about the sidewalls being uh, a little bit lean we'll find out whether or not that's going to be a issue i'm going to get out beat the piss out of these things uh see if they hold up uh if they do freaking awesome you know you could save a save a few bucks have a tire that is quiet um, and most 
what most people want and I hear about right now as well is there's no lines getting these things. I know with a lot of the other manufacturers, getting tires right now is part of that big problem where people are looking at other brands. So these things, as I understand, this company has a ton of these tires in stock. So yeah, anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on this here, but day one, boy, home run. All right, before we go wrapping up this video, let's discuss the differences between the original Generation 1 Patagonia MTs, uh, which came out in 2017, and I believe the second generation, the ones right here, came out in 2020. Now, if you're familiar with Mouser, you know that there was a previous version of this tire. So the question is, the million dollar question here is, how has the second generation been improved? So we're gonna start off with the cross-directional sipping that I mentioned earlier, is a new feature that gives the Patagonia MT2's tires improved strength and better resistance against chunking. Next, let's talk about the sidewall here. You have a three ply sidewall that is also a new feature that gives the second generation of the tire far more resistance from rocks and debris on the trail. And then of course we have the tire or the the tread area. The silicone based tread compound that I discussed a moment ago is yet another new feature that improves the performance of these tires over the predecessors. Now, according to Milestar, these tires were developed over the course of several years and include features that directly address feedback from real world off-roaders and rock crawling enthusiasts. Now, the result is a tire that retains all the best features of the original Patagonia tires while also having several upgrades that make them a much more improved option. Now to summarize my first impression of these tires, coming from the Niddle Trail Grappler is, man, first impressions, these things kick ass. Now, from a noise standpoint, man, it's great to be able to hear myself think. Uh, when I first had the, when the first tires first came in, because one of the things I absolutely love about the Niddle Trail Grapplers is that tread design. And uh, honestly speaking, I wasn't sure whether or not how I would feel about these Patagonias on the truck. And I think they pulled off really good. I actually really, really like the tread design and how the, I mean, it looks like a beefy tire. Uh, but again, one of the big selling points for me is certainly the, the noise side of it here. So yeah, well uh, now fast forward uh, two to three months or I'm sorry, three to six months, whenever we do that next, the long-term review of this here, we'll see how that uh, how this does on more serious off-roading situations and so forth. And obviously in a few months, oh, we're in October right now. Yeah, so in a few months, we should actually have some snow runs in this as well. So of course here in California, that means mud and snow um, as we get up to higher elevation. So I'll have, I'm sure that that long-term review is gonna be pretty Pretty interesting but from other reviews that I've seen online um, you know, match recovery service uh, they swear by these tires and that's what they run on their their rigs out there and there's a handful of other people that just absolutely swear up and down so I'm excited to get out there and really test these things out but before I let you go guys friends it is that time to uh, hey let's discuss our current giveaway we have three Excellent prizes up for the grab this month, of course. We have the Forest Tool Company Max Toolkit. We have the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is, well, you guessed it. We make it super easy. Step one, I held up two fingers. Step one, like this video. And friend, you got to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So... Hell, get watching some more of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on four-wheel drive talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friends, as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello. Let us know what's, uh, what's new with you. We'd love to see you. And that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on four-wheel drive talk and how to say hello in the form. Check out the description below. Good luck. And friends, that is it. You know, I'm excited. I really cannot wait to see how these tires perform because when you factor in uh, the Nitto Trail Grapplers, these things are 430-ish, well, $404, $430 for the, uh, these were the 12 and a half, or I'm sorry, 35, 12 and a half, uh, 17s. So 404 bucks, 430 bucks, depending upon where you get these things. And then the Patagonia 2s here, the same size 
is about $360. That's a, that's a nice chunk of savings in your pocket there. So I'm really excited to see if these things, which side of the review board do these tires fall into? So of course, you definitely want to make sure you, before you go signing off with this video, well, that's, I'm going to be signing off. Before you go logging off with this video or jumping on to the next, if you aren't currently subscribed to the channel or if you haven't hit that bell, friend, you're going to want to do that. If you've watched this video, that means obviously you're either interested in a good set of tires for your vehicle. You may look, be interested in saving a few bucks, but not compromising the quality of the tire that you're getting on there. Or hell, you may have a set of Patagonias already on your vehicle and you want to see how the hell other people are digging these things. Either way, make sure you hit that bell slip for when we come out with the subsequent video on this that uh, YouTube notifies you. And while you're at it already for the sake of YouTube's algorithm, consider hitting that like button. But anyways, friends, it's an honor to have you here uh, supporting the channel. It's an honor to be able to have 15 minutes of your time or however long this video is. I, we really do appreciate your support. That said, friends, I'm going to be logging off here. So you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.